Angela and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm pretty new to YouTube as well. Quick intro about me, I do uh, book review. I currently do book reviews, silent vlogs, and manga Mondays. Uh, my channel is still pretty new so there's not too many videos, but if you would like to subscribe to follow me on my YouTube journey, I would greatly appreciate it. So today on Manga Monday, I am going to be discussing, like on my shirt, The Ancient Magus's Bride. Now some people pronounce it Magus, I say Magus, um, and that's just how I'm used to saying it. I, I think it's Magus, I don't know. Comment down below if you know if it's Magus or Magus. I, I've heard people pronounce it both ways, so. But yes, the ancient Magus is bright. So if you haven't seen my first manga Monday, I will link it down below. Basically, I usually only read manga. I never read it because it's new. Usually I read it because I have seen the anime and either the anime is really good and I just want to read it and see any differences between the two or or the manga or the anime finishes before the manga does so I just pick it up from where it left off and then I'll eventually reread the beginning part and because it'll probably be a little bit different. Um, so in the case of the ancient Magus' Bride, I saw the anime first. The anime came out on Crunchyroll in 2017. I watched the sub. I didn't watch the dub. I think I might have seen like a small clip of the dub, but the sub was coming out first, so I just decided to watch the sub. And I like the voice actors in there too. I do watch dub though. I know there's a whole debate on sub and dub, but um, it's kind of whichever one I'm feeling. And I felt like reading it, so so it was. Anyways, the anime was so beautiful. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's not that many episodes at all. It's pretty short. The anime actually finished before the manga caught up to where the anime was when it finished. So it kind of got so in the anime you kind of got like a sneak peek at what was coming up next in the manga. But then it stopped and we haven't gotten a season two. I think there were um, rumors of it going to be like an online thing, but I'm sure because of COVID and everything that um, we haven't heard anything new. At least I haven't heard anything new. If you have, let me know. So I fell in love with the ancient manga's bride. Because of the anime, it's a, like I said, it's a beautiful anime. It takes place in this fantasy world. You meet Elias and Chise that I will hopefully cosplay as one day. Whenever we can cosplay again in public. The Ancient Magus is a is more of a fantasy um, manga and anime. But long story short, if you haven't read it yet, she says um, the lowest point of her life and she ends up, she's about to commit suicide when two men notice that she has this type of power where she can see magical things and so they come up to her and before she decides to jump off a building, ask her if she would like to be sold off to a family or to somebody uh, for money because they put on like this magical, like a magical auction every year and so they ask her to be a part of it and so she decides that she um, wants to be loved, decides that that's probably better than killing herself and that maybe having a home of her own would be better than having no home at all. So she goes to this auction and when they bring her out, side note, Elias, in the sub anime they say Elias, in the dub I know they say Elias. I like the pronunciation Elias better, so I'm just going to go with Elias. Side note end. So Elias find, uh, Elias um, gives the biggest bid um, and he ends up winning Chise in a sense and takes her back to his home in London, in the countryside of London, I believe. Chise is scared, but also is happy to just have a home to go to. And when they get to London, um, she realizes that even though like he's this big, scary, I believe like a chimera type of 
monster, that he's actually kind of sweet and <laughs> he wants her to be his apprentice and and after you read through along, Elias actually ends up becoming Chisei's student because he wants to know how to be a human being because he doesn't know how to be a human being yet. Yeah, and then they go on magical adventures where Chisei learns how to use magic and hones her ability because she's like this special kind of, like I said, she's a special kind of person that can see magical beings and not everyone can do this and so she's like a special group. Um, so she's learning how to use magic, he's learning how to be human, and we're both learning about both of, the, both of these people at the same time. So The Ancient Mongoose's Bride is actually not finished yet. It is still ongoing. I don't have all the volumes yet. I have been reading the translations online, so I am up to date. There are also supplemental books that you can purchase, um, physical copies as well. But the first whole part of The Ancient Mongoose um, Magus' Bride, I believe the first like nine to ten volumes is going to be like one, I feel it's like one huge arc. It's really about, she say, learning to hone her magic and we learn a little bit about Elias. We still haven't found out what Elias really is. Some people think he's some kind of chimera. Some people think that like he kind of sold his soul to this um, demon guy, but we haven't found that out yet, but I'm sure we will. And then the second part, which is after the anime as well, we start learning more about this whole world, because you learn about the world of the ancient Magus, but now you're learning about the people and that there's actually clans and there's a university that she say ends up going to to learn about magic and there's all kinds of different people that have different kinds of magic so the world's really opening up and it just keeps you really interested in the manga at least I'm still interested and there is a ton of people that are still interested and along with the world you're meeting the these interesting characters a lot of which do come from actual folklore so the writer which is Kori Yamazaki he wrote and did the art for the ancient Magus Magus's bride the manga he got a lot of his inspiration from folklore so a lot of the mythical creatures that you meet is from actual stories it's not just something that's just Poof, made up. <laughs> it's really interesting, so if you're really into folklore, you'll probably like this as well. It's also a pretty newer manga, so if you're trying to get into something a little bit newer but not sure what to read, this is a great manga to read, especially if you're into more fantasy type of novels. And like the anime, the, an the manga drawings are just as beautiful. If you watch the anime first and you haven't read the manga, the manga does go into details, a little more details than the anime does. Even though the anime is beautiful and wonderful and I do recommend it, it kind of, I feel like it gets a little bit rushed towards the end. So there are some parts that you see that are in the manga but aren't really explained in the anime. So if you had some questions about some scenes in the anime, the manga will definitely answer your questions. So I definitely do recommend The Ancient Magus's Bride. And if you like stories kind of like The Shape of Water or um, The Girl from the Other Side, you'll probably like this one as well. It is rated teen and I do, I would follow that just because there are, it, it doesn't show anything too inappropriate by Japanese standards, but it does get into some heavy topics and like just a few chapters in, there is kind of a more like gory scene that happens that even like shook me when I was <laughs> watching and reading it. So um, definitely, probably teenager and up, probably teenager and up is who should be reading the manga, but to each his own as well. 
If you've seen or watched The Ancient Manga's Bride, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the manga. If there's any manga you recommend for me to read next, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And you can always follow me for more content. All my social media handles are at a bit of Amanda. Thank you and happy reading.